Did you know that many independent filmmakers use any recent model phone to shoot both shorts and full-length movies? And with a gimbal? It's ridiculous! The cinematic shots are getting easier and easier to make. Damn. Bonjour and welcome back to my channel, Céline here. Glad to see you and to talk about a new review today. If you are new, here is a quick introduction. Salut, je m'appelle Céline, je suis journaliste, I'm a TV journalist and I'm passionate about new technologies. If you are new and you like tutorials, reviews and vlogs, consider subscribing. Now, let's go back to business and talk about the brand new DJI Osmo Mobile 2. What DJI has done with its latest gimbal is to bring smooth mobile shooting and more down to a price level that makes it let's be honest, very affordable, $129 in the US and €149 Euros in Europe. So for that price, when you consider all the things it can do, I'd say it qualifies as the best value phone accessory on the market at the moment. But is it really reality? Let's find out. Something very important you need to know when you have the Osmo Mobile or any other 3-axis gimbal is this. You need to manually balance your gimbal before switching on the device. With my huge iPhone 8 Plus, I really need to stabilize it on the gimbal prior to switching on. And I have read that this gimbal is better suited to handle large phones, like mine, than the first version. Because, oh boy, the first version totally ruined my iPhone 8 Plus. Thanks DJI, look at my brand new iPhone 8. What a bad souvenir. Anyway, if you want to have a look at what happened with the Osmo Mobile One, just click on the card on the right corner. So, every time you mount your phone at a different angle or you mount a totally different phone, you will need to tweak its balance and let's have a closer look at how to do it. It took me more than 15 minutes the first time to realize that this part of the gimbal can be moved. And that's how you stabilize it. It's an internal battery you cannot change. Okay, compared to the first Osmo Mobile, this one has an internal battery and you cannot remove it. It also has a USB port you can use to charge your phone as you shoot. But how can I say it? Is this just me or wiring your phone to a gimbal that, that is using battery life to keep it steady? It's just using the battery for nothing. the external part of the Osmo Mobile 2. See you la proxima semana, la semaine prochaine. See you next week to take a closer look 
at the nuts and bolts. Bref, on va voir la semaine prochaine ce que cet appareil a dans le ventre. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did click on the thumbs up button just down below and subscribe to my channel. If you did already subscribe, vous êtes les meilleurs, je vous adore. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much and leave a comment. You know I love it, ça fait toujours plaisir. See you next Monday. Salut